Hi there, I'm Ashley Bullington and you're watching The Warm Up, presented by your local GEICO offices in Cypress, Katy, Spring, and Pearland. We're so close to crowning a state champion up at AT&T Stadium, but teams have to get past the toughest in the regional finals. I am here to get you warmed up for all the action. All right, guys, the holiday season is here and 11 area teams still have visions of gold trophies dancing in their heads. Let's start in Class 6A Division I, where North Shore and Atascacita have steamrolled their way to the Region 3 final. Both the Mustangs and Eagles suffered early season losses to Katy, but since those defeats, both teams have looked dominant in reaching this point. North Shore is averaging 56 points per game in the playoffs, with wins over Pasadena Doby, Pearland Dawson, and of course, in the rematch with Katie last week. Atascacita rides an 11 game winning streak, and the Eagles are only averaging 52 points a contest in the postseason. Expect this one to turn into a track meet at sparkling new Sheldon ISD Panther Stadium on Saturday. There are three area teams still in the mix in Class 6A Division II, and all three are in action Saturday at NRG Stadium. At 2 o'clock, Cy Creek and Katie Taylor kick things off in the Region 3 final. After starting the season 0-3, Cy Creek has won nine of its last 10 games, including a 45-33 come from behind win against Straight Jesuit last Friday night. Meanwhile, Katie Taylor actually lost its last three regular season games, but the Mustangs have picked up the pace in the postseason and now find themselves just three wins away from a state title. Then, in the nightcap at NRG Stadium, Westfield takes on Dallas Jesuit in the Region 2 final. Westfield has played like a legit title contender all season, with the Mustangs' only loss coming by three points to North Shore back in September. Since then, they've reeled off 10 consecutive wins with the defense holding opponents to an average of eight points per game during that stretch. If the old adage that defense wins championships rings true, then Westfield will be tough to beat. Sorry, we need to interrupt the warm up for some breaking news. We're getting reports of a shark invasion on the Riverwalk in San Antonio, or at least that's what we're expecting to see on Saturday as Shadow Creek heads to the Alamo Dome to take on Maynard in Class 5A Division I. Last week, the Sharks survived their closest call of the season, trailing 24-7 at halftime before rallying for a 36-31 win over Foster to improve to 13-0. Shadow Creek had looked dominant all season long before last week's narrow escape. And call us crazy, but we're expecting a serious shark attack Saturday at the Alamo Dome. And hey, they can swim down the river walk and get some tasty enchiladas after the game. Speaking of tasty, no matchup this weekend is quite as appetizing as Manville and Fort Bend Marshall in Class 5A Division II. The district rivals have played two absolute thrillers in the regular season the last two years. And you have to think round three might be even better considering what's at stake this time around. Last year, Marshall stunned the Mavs with a two-point conversion in overtime to win 52-51. This year, Manville's Tucker Yarborough threw three touchdown passes as the Mavs held off the Bucks 38-34. This one should be a treat, and there's probably not a better way to spend your Saturday afternoon than watching the Buffs and Mavs at Alvin ISD Memorial Stadium. But if you're looking for some Friday night lights, there's some good small school action to take in. In Class 3A Division I, the Columbus Cardinals look to advance to the state semifinals as they take on Hallettsville at Legacy Stadium in Katy. Columbus running back Tyree Simchick is a force to be reckoned with and the Cardinals will look to avenge a 28-26 regular season loss to the Bramas. In 3A Division II, district rivals East Bernard and Ganado also meet for the second time this year. East Bernard won the first meeting 27-14, and the Bramas look to continue their quest for a perfect 16-0 season and the program's third state championship. So there you have it. 
11 Houston area teams with title dreams. And we have so much in store for you on Chevy's Inside High School Sports this week that we need two shows. Yep, you heard that right, two shows. We'll be in a time slot Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m., but we'll also be back Saturday at 11 p.m. to bring you coverage of Saturday's playoff action as well. Until then, let's kick the extra point. It's always a huge game that could easily be the team that plays for a state championship. Katie versus North Shore was once again epic, and the outpour on Twitter by the Katie players will pull at your heartstrings. If you love a good story, Katie Taylor is one of them, making the regional finals for the first time in school history. There was so much excitement, even one of the police officers ran a flag. That's all we have for this week's episode. To stay up to date with all things inside high school sports, follow our social accounts. We have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Those will keep you up to the minute on everything happening around the greater Houston area and get you ready for your Saturday morning wake up call with Chevrolet's Inside High School Sports on KG11 at 9.30 a.m. this week, hosted by Matt Musil. And we have a special announcement that Chevrolet's Inside High School Sports will not air once this week, it will air two times. A completely different episode at 11 p.m which will soon be the brand new time for Chevrolet's Inside High School Sports. Thank you for watching the warm up presented by your local GEICO offices in Cypress, Katy, Spring and Pearland. To get more information or a quote, go to geico.com forward slash Houston. I'm Ashley Bulletin, and I hope the last few minutes have gotten you warmed up for all the major playoff showdowns.